Hey, welcome back to Square Body Stuff. I am Chad, and this is Cream Puff. Uh, this will be part three of our steering component rebuild series. I've got the first video was the idler arm. Second video was, was the pitman arm, and now I'm going to be doing the tie rod ends. Of course, what prompted me to even do this is because this truck was starting to have uh, a little bit of, not really play in the steering, uh, if you're going down the road, it would just kind of wander. It would it'd find a groove in the road and kind of you know, just just follow it. But if you move the steering wheel, it was it was responsive. It didn't have like a quarter turn or slack or anything. So what that told me was uh, my steering box is in good shape. I know my rag joint, everything's kind of soaked. I've got some, I need to replace the seals on my steering box. Uh, but they told me the steering box is okay. The pitman arm was probably okay. And the driver's side tie rod ends were probably okay. So where I started out inspecting was uh, the idler arm and the tie rod ends on the passenger side. And what I found was the idler arm had a lot of slack in it and the outer tie rod end on the passenger side had a, a lot of play in it. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and do all of it all at once, ordered the parts, and I'm doing this three-part series on how to rebuild your steering on your C10, which the C10, C20, C30s, and pretty much all your GMs of this era uh, your cars and everything are pretty much similar, so whatever you've got, it'll help you out. If you haven't already watched the uh, video, part one of the replacing the idler arm, uh, I'd encourage you to go watch that because nah, you may learn something. And you may even learn what not to do. Uh, I did uh, forget to put my grease cups on and had to take it back apart and redo it. Uh, but I've also got the tie rod ends already done on this side while well, I had it apart I just went ahead and done on this side I'm going to video doing the tie rod ends on the driver's side because I've got better lighting over there a little more room to work so I'll show you what we've done with the pitman arm now, of course the pitman arm is on the driver's side it connects from your steering box to your drag link uh, of course the drag link goes on over to the either arm and then the, the drag link also connects to the tie rod ends so I've got the uh, pitman arm replaced on this side, and in this video we're going to be doing uh, inner and outer tie rod ends on this side. Kind of a brief overview of what I'm going to do. Uh, they can be a pain in the butt. I should have got new adjusters, but I didn't. It made the job a whole lot easier. Uh, so I've got to break these loose, and I've, I've got everything soaking with PB Blaster. Uh, it's a good idea if you know you're going to be doing this kind of project to go ahead and soak everything two or three days ahead and, you know, squirt a little bit of uh, penetrant or something on there for a couple days. But I got to take this loose and I got to clean it up. The other side was, wasn't too awful bad, but there's a split, which you can't see here. I'll, I'm not going to move the camera down there. You'll see it when we get going on this. But this collar is split. And they actually make a special tool. Once you take these clamps loose, they got a special tool that goes into that split and spreads it apart, makes it easier to adjust. Uh, I don't have one of those. I've got a chisel or uh, you can use something else you're going to put in there to kind of spread it apart and make it easy to, to take loose. But I'm going to get the camera set up and start uh, whittling away at this. I'm going to work on getting this adjuster freed up and then we'll work on getting the... Uh, the tie rod ends broke loose, which is nothing more than just your cotter pin. Take your nut off and uh, use your pickle fork. Or Some people have a good good luck with just beating the ends. I don't like doing that. It boogers them up, and I never have any luck with them popping loose. So I just use a pickle fork. I guess you could use a, a pitman arm puller if it'll fit. Some sort of puller like this. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I'll get the camera set up. And we'll get to work on this. I hope this camera angle works for everybody. Uh, it's about the best I can come up with so you can kind of see everything going on. Now, on this side, on this end, on the inner tie rod, if you were uh, rebuilding the whole front end like I've been doing, uh, and what I would normally would do is take the pitman arm off, leave it off, get it out of the way so you can get your nut and everything a lot easier. But for this video, I'm going to Treat it just like you're doing just the tie rod ends. So I'm going to get these nuts and bolts broke loose and try to get this adjuster freed up. You guys will be proud of me, I'm actually using an impact socket. I 
if you're just if you're just taking these loose just to adjust it uh, you don't need to take them all the way out but I'm gonna take the bolts all the way out uh, and clean them up put some anisees on them that way when I go back together it looks and works a lot easier now we got the uh, nuts out of the way the bolts out of the way these are all kind of I'll spread these out and you can also just kind of get them knocked off of there just get them out of your way and the slot is down on the bottom so it's going to be hard to get anything in there to spread it apart It's starting to move. Okay, now I got to move. I'll keep. Now I got to move. I'm going to spray some more penetrant in there and work it around just to get it broke loose. Now I'm not going to try to take it off yet because first we got to measure. And that's probably what we should have done. The first thing we should have done is measure to know how long this is before we take it apart. That way when we go back together, you get really, really close. And hopefully you don't need to take it to a alignment shop. And what I'll do to measure it, uh, since these are, they're not at a the same angle. This one's pointing down. That one's pointing that way. They're kind of 90 degrees off. You can't just measure... Uh, from greaser to greaser that's what I normally do so you get a good center to center so on this what I normally do is I'll make a mark this close as I can guess to center and hold my tape measure on there get my measurement and then when I pull it out uh, I'll I'll set my new inner tie rod in up next to that make the mark in the same spot that way I can get pretty much a close measurement. Um, you you may be a little bit off here and there, but once you get it done, if you're not sure, take it to the alignment shop or have a buddy help you kind of set your toe in on it. But normally you can get pretty close if, you, if you're really close on your measurements. All right, from where I made my mark to the center of that grease cert uh, is uh, 16 and 9 sixteenths. So I'll write that down. That way I don't forget because I don't have a very good memory. And now I can go ahead and take the take this adjuster off. It's gonna it just takes a little while to get it broke loose and start backing it off. Uh, you could go ahead and at this point, since it's broke loose, uh, you could take it out and put it in a vise, but it's still kind of hard sometimes to do that. It, it, it's a, up to you how you prefer to do it. I'm going to work on it in the truck for right now. I may take it out put it in a vise, depending on how I feel, but I'm not going to video any of that because it's pretty self-explanatory and it would just take up a lot of time on, on the footage. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got going on. Uh, maybe not film the whole thing. The problem is, is you can't really like use a pipe wrench or anything on this. Because if you do, you're just going to clamp it down and, and make it hard to get on there. Once you get it to where you can get it up there and see it. See the groove, the split. You can take a chisel. Spread it apart. And 
and then take a pair of channel locks or something. Work it off there. You just can't squeeze too hard or you're clamped down on it. Uh, the upper one, the inner, is left-handed threads. The outer is right-hand threads on your uh, deals there. So it'll once you you just go one way and it'll thread it apart. And this is why I like doing it kind of in the truck because it's pretty sturdy. You're not having to monkey with the vice or nothing. So, but I'll go ahead and get this worked off of there, get it cleaned up, and then we'll start putting the new ones back together. Uh, another little note I'd like to add, because I just had to, I was having some issues because it was getting really, really tight. Uh, as you can tell, I've got my steering turned all the way to the uh, left, and I have my steering wheel locked. So as I was trying to spread this out, I was actually pushing against the pitman arm, pushing against the steering wheel lock, uh, and getting nowhere fast. So I had to stop and unlock my steering wheel and just let it leave the key turn just a little bit so my steering wheel is not locked. So don't don't get in that bind like I did, and then you can just continue taking this off. That's a lot easier now. All right, now I've got it off. I'll set it aside and we'll clean it up here in a minute. Next thing to do is get our cotter pins pulled out. And I like to use a pair of side cutters. You can get a good grip on it. I move my steering out to where I can reach this. That's another reason why I said in the beginning of this, it, it makes it easier if you're doing all of it, just to leave this pitman arm off until you get this off. You can have better access to it. And if I wasn't so lazy, I can get on a creeper, go on the other side and actually see what I'm doing. But... Uh, I think I got it. Okay. And there's our old tie rods out. That's a good time to kind of clean everything up, get all the old grease and grime off of it. And we'll get the new tie rods in there. Well, got to get this sleeve cleaned up, get everything cleaned up, and get ready to put our new tie rods in. Okay, I've got everything back together. Got my grease certs in. I've got anises. All inside of here, and my, all my threads are anti-seized. Got my grease cups on. Got my grease cert on this end. This one's a hard one to get to whenever it's already installed, so I always try to make sure I get it in there. I've got anti-seized on everything, so it's now just a matter of sticking it back together. Thank you. 
Everything's back together, except for I don't have my, on, on both sides, these are still loose. Uh, I left them loose because I'm going to put the wheels back on it, straighten up the tire, you know, straighten up the wheels and everything, and set it back on the ground, try to get a rough measurement, make sure my toe is still good. It should be really close because my measurements came out, I mean, right on the money pretty much, uh, at least with a tape measure. So I should be pretty close. On the uh, toe, it, either way, it'll drive a lot better. This is a good time, if you're doing this, to actually take it and have it aligned. Uh, as long as all your bushings are in okay shape. Uh, if you get all your tie rod ends, your steering parts in good shape, ball joints are in good shape, it'd be a good time to uh, take it to alignment shop, have it aligned. Make sure you're tracking true. Um, I may or may not do that. It just depends on how it drives after we get done. But it should drive a whole lot better. All right, I hope this video has helped somebody out. Um, not really a whole lot to it, as long as you have the right tools and stuff. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier. If you haven't already, go check out the other two videos, the part one and part two, the idle arm and pitman arm. It kind of ties all this together to get your steering components in tip-top shape. Um, also, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also, give us a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And go check out my Teespring link down below in the, des the description box. It's where you get merchandise. I've got Dooley Butts Drive Me Nuts shirt on today. Uh, it's just kind of a fun one I come up with. Um, yeah, hopefully it helps somebody out. Leave me a comment. Give me a question, comment, whatever. And until next time, y'all keep your square bodies rolling, and we'll catch you later.